I got it. I think I got it. I mean, I think this might be my new favorite tech bag ever. But we'll see. I think I got it. Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. My name is Jonathan, and I think I have my new favorite tech bag of 2022, maybe of all time. Who knows? We'll have to see in this video. That's what this video is all about. This is my first impressions of the Manhattan from Andar. If you don't know who Andar is, they make high quality products made with full grain leather. They make some really high quality products, anything from phone cases to MagSafe wallets to laptop cases. Really, they have a pretty big selection available right now. I'll leave a link to Andar in the description below. They sent me over the Manhattan this isn't a sponsored video. They aren't paying me to say what I'm about to say in this video. So if I do love this product, it's because I truly love this product. If I don't like it, it's because it's probably not good. But now let's take a look at the Manhattan. I'm really excited about this one. I've been needing a new tech bag and this just might be the one for me. We'll see. Let's open this up. Andar always sends their products with this like cloth bag. It's really nice. Even their cases, their mag accessories, they come in a bag like this one, smaller obviously, but they come with this cloth bag to protect, I guess, the leather, which is nice that they include that. But we'll open this up. Here it is. Let's put this bag to the side over here. Here it is, the Manhattan from Andar. So there's three different colors. This is the brown version of the Manhattan, but there's also a jet black and a camel tan. I actually really like how this color option looks. I actually like the brown color for most of their products. Jet black looks nice too, but I don't know why their brown color just really stands out to me. But let me tell you, as soon as you open up that cloth bag, that premium full grain leather smell, it just, it hits you. So you know, Andar is using some high quality materials with their products. Let's take a look at the bag. So it looks like we have, we have two large pockets and including one up front, as you can see it there. So let's start with this front one here. All right. So when we open up the front, you know what? Let's start with the bigger pockets because I think there's some stuffing here inside, yeah and it's kind of making it hard to look at the other pocket there. But you can see the front pocket here. So just first impressions, there's a lot of pockets here. Uh, you open up that first pocket up on top, there's two more pockets inside. So we can see one here up top, then you got one up front right here, a little bit bigger. You might be able to put a small tablet in there if you want to. Not really that safe, so I wouldn't recommend it, but that's the first pocket there. We'll zip this back up. Now let's go into the big pocket. Let's take out this stuffing there. Put this to the side. This is where you would probably fit your larger devices. This is definitely where you're probably gonna put your laptop, your tablet, whatever you wanna fit is probably gonna go right in there. And we have some pockets here on the side. That's probably to hold those devices in place. And up front, you have another pocket. You can see there, you have a few pockets there to put some cards, pens, pencils, whatever you wanna put. There's slots for all of that in this bag there's definitely enough room to fit all your devices, which is what I love. I like to travel and I carry a lot with me, so I want something that's gonna be able to carry everything. And there's one more pocket on the back. Now this is perfect for your phone. You could just probably slide in your phone, zip it up, and it's a little bit more safer. It's not in the front of your bag where somebody can easily just open it and take it. It's in the back, it's a little bit more safer, which I like. So if we were gonna put our laptop here, you can see this is a small 13 inch laptop, but it fits nicely in there. Let's get my iPad. We can put that on the front part. And they fit comfortably inside. Now, 
There's even a slot in the front to keep your Apple Pencil if that's what you want. So right now it has a laptop, an iPad, a phone, and there's still a lot more space. There's a whole pocket that I'm not even using. So you definitely have enough space. I like that this bag has these pockets inside the larger pocket where you can maybe throw in some cables, whatever you want to throw in, and you're not having to just open a pocket and kind of dig in. You have it all kind of organized, which I like. There's plenty of space to keep all of your stuff in the Manhattan. Now, when it comes to the design, I'm a huge fan of this design. Not only is it easy and convenient to carry all your stuff inside the Manhattan, but it just looks nice. I mean, I love the design of this backpack. More of a professional look, especially when you compare it to the other tech bags that are available right now. Very minimalist when it comes to the design. We can see the only Andar branding is on the strap right here. That's it. You have a handle up top. You have a handle on the side as well. So, you know, if you are going on a business trip, you can just quickly just carry your bag with you. And obviously you have the straps on the back. But this just feels like a well-made product. You have to really try out Andor's products because they just have that premium feel to them. Now let's talk about price. The Manhattan costs $338, which isn't cheap. That's expensive, especially for a tech bag. But keep in mind, this is made with premium materials, so it should last you a long time. Sometimes it's worth it just to pay more and have a product last you longer and that you're happy with as opposed to just saving money on something you're unhappy with. So that's what I'm expecting with a Manhattan. Hopefully in my long-term review, uh, this product stands the test of time. It looks like it's gonna be that way because Andar products have been that way, at least the ones I've used, but I definitely will do a full review of this tech bag. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what to expect with the Manhattan. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos, and I'll see you on the next one.